deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Hello everybody, my name is Sakuhana and welcome to PXT. First, actually, we're going to be starting off with Bone Tubular. Uh, he did debut last week. He uh, showed exceptional skill against Gen X. But there is one issue we were having, and that is, who will he face to get a division placement? In other words, he right now has no division. Luckily, we did sign somebody. It will be Bone Tubular against... The new assignee of PXT. Welcome everybody to PXT. We're starting the night off fast. That's right. Introducing first from who knows where, Bone Tubular. Tubular. Tube. Tube. Tubular. Tubler. Tub. Tube. His name is Bone, anyways. This man showed exceptional skill last week against Gen X, literally a surprise match out of nowhere, and now he is starting the night to see if he can get the first draw of placement choices. That's right, because right now he is not in the PXT and he is not in the PXT YouTube tile division, so this will actually show where he lands. Let's see who he's going against. Wait a minute. Holy shoot! We have one of the Mendez brothers here! We have Carlo Mendez all the way from Mexico down in PXT. I'm surprised he didn't bring his brothers with him, honestly. He is part of a triplet tag team with his brother. Did he just. What, what just happened? How did he. What? Did, did he just go over the top? Wait a minute, I just realized his interest didn't save. So. Well, that's going to change. Either way, though, we introduce to y'all Carlo Mendez. He is part of a trio tag team in Mexico, and it looks like he is the first of the brothers to sign with PXT. And now let's see where he places here at PXT. Honestly, a lot of history with the Mendez brothers back in Mexico. Pretty much they all started off as a full-on action then it was Carlo actually first to disperse from that oh big kick right there but oh look at this bone looking to get a quick victory off Carlo oh already got a two count from Carlo holy shit oh big kick right there Carlo Mendez oh stomping away and looking like Carlo wants to work on the arm of Bone. But Bone's not gonna have that! Oh, it's a switchblade into a dropkick. And now! <laughs> standing shooting star! Right now, again, Bone just bringing in full high speed in this match! You should call him the Bone Speedster at this point. Because right now, he's bringing everything to Carlo. Carlo has yet to make any offense. Here it is! Oh! Bone missed the high fly move, but oh, Bone is just fucking going. <laughs> Bone right now is non stop. Oh, big knee shot. Oh, good DDT right there. Bone is just taking pure. <laughs> oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, well, but that's thing. He's on the outside. Submissions are not going to work on the outside. Carlo was still able to get out of it though. Carlo throwing Bone back in. Carlo wants to end this in the ring. Bone maybe knows a little bit about the one and only Mendez brother who not only. Oh, look at that! Good hit, Karana. Oh, here it is. One, two. Oh! <laughs> I think Bone is doing too much because Carlo had to reach for the ropes. Oh, here it is! Oh! Bone Crusher! One! Two! No! 
Carlo kicks out. And look at this, Bone now on the top. What's Bone looking for? Bone going in. Oh! Lee was trying to go for a corkscrew crossbody, but misses it. And now Carlo is taking advantage. Oh, good. Good kick right there. Carlo, known for his epic knee strikes. Oh, good leg sweep. Big punch to the face from Carlo to Bone. Carlo now going to the top, looking to go high risk, high maneuver. Oh, misses the splash. Big shot, big shot, more big shots. And Bone just still has answers to it. Bone is not holding back. Bone is going full-fledged in. Oh, big kick right there. Oh, another big kick right there. Oh, not giving up and out. Oh, just damaging the leg of Mendez. Pretty much making sure that he's not going to go over that big knee strike that we know from him here. Oh, look at this, Carlo. Looking to come back. Carlo getting bone up. What's Carlo going to go for here? In there. Oh! Big knee shot to the gut. And it looks like it did some damage to bone. But bone quickly up. Bone is known for his quick speed here. Oh! El gets caught with an elbow from Carlo. Bone now having some trouble against Carlo Mendez. And Carlo now looking to actually bring a fight here tonight. Oh! Good move there. What's Carlo looking for? Carlo with a big, four, big punch in the face of Bone. Bone looking to rally. Carlo not liking it. Surprised he didn't go for a high fly move, but oh! Gets caught with a suplex on the outside. And now big knee strike. Or big knee drop from Bone to Carlo. Now Bone again just reclaiming control of this match. But Carlo kicks up like nothing happened. Oh, look at this. Oh, we had a three count here. Ooh, Carlo, big knee strike. Carlo, Carlo is getting Bone back in the ring. Carlo wants to end this legit. He doesn't want there being any question with any of his decisions in PXC. Big forearm right there. It is going for the pin, but Bone's hand was under the rope, so it was already out of bounds. Carlo now taking control of the match, and Bone looking to capitalize with that reversal. Oh, Mrs. the Itsuguri. Oh no, here it is, Nightfall! Carlo just hit the Nightfall on Bone, is that it? Is that actually gonna be it here tonight? One, two, no, Bone kicks out on Nightfall. Oh, I think he was going to go for possibly another. Oh, goes for a drop kick, but Bone quickly steps back. I think Bone was going to go for the Tristed. He was going for Tristed Bone Cutter, but it didn't work. Oh, look at that. Gets caught. Heracrata goes for the pin. One, two. No. Carlo kicks out. Carlo quickly rolling to the ropes, trying to get himself up. And now Bone is taking advantage, but Carlo throws him over the top. Carlo headed to the top now. What's Carlo going for? Oh. He not he wasn't going for a splash. I'm actually surprised right now. Oh, Carly getting him, getting possibly looking to do so oh big forearm punch there. What's this? Oh, okay. That's a new maneuver right there. Look at that. Oh, big punch there. And now, oh, but Bone coming back at it himself. Ooh, big shoulder hit right there. 
Now Bone just throwing him across the ringside. Oh, is Bone going to take a ring out count victory? No, Bone thought about it. He's like, screw this. He wants to put him down. Going for a big punch, but quickly misses. And now, Carlo looking to come back. But Bone not holding back either. But look at this, Carlo coming back at it too. Big leg stream. Oh, and right now we're at a three count on the outside. Bone or Carlo needs to really get back into that ring. Goes him on the turnbuckle. Ooh, practically drapes him down. And oh, big boot right there. Oh, but Carlo kicks up. We're at a six count. Another big boot right there. We're at a six count. If Bone wants to end this the right way, he's going to have to drag him back in the ring. There it is. We were at a seven count by the time they decided to come back. Bone looking to get advantage here. Look at this. Bone Crusher. He is for the win. One, two, three. And Bone wins the first drawing to see which division he'll be put in. Congratulations to Bone for picking up a victory off Carlo Mendez. We try to go more in depth with Carlo Mendez, but if anything, we had to do that another time, another night. But now it is time to see where Bone will be placed. Will he be placed in the PXC title division or will he be placed in the YouTube title division? We're about to find out. And with this, we are about to see... Oh, yeah, just to show you what I'm using. Little dice roller. I have it on a D2 dice. So one will be the PXC title division. Two will be the YouTube title division. So right now, we are about to see where Bone is going to be placed for title divisions. Will he be in the PXC title division? Or will he be in the YouTube title division? Let's find out. And with that, Bone has been placed into the PXT U2 title division, which means Carlo will be placed in the PXT title division. Congratulations to Bone, honestly, with your exceptional skills and got immense speed in the ring. Honestly, I think he can bring some great-ass skill to uh, that title. I think he can bring prestige to the U2 championship. Now, because of last week, between Ace and Satoshi Makoto, Ace is furious with what happened last week with getting sprayed in the face the way that he did. So now he is asking for a stipulation match at PXT BioWar. That's right. Ace has demanded to have a stipulation match here tonight so then they could find out what match they will be having at PXT BioWar. Introducing first, the crime boss of PXT, Satoshi Makoto. Honestly, Satoshi, this entire goddamn month has been... Whoever the hell was that guy said, oh yeah, you need to calm down. The point is, Satoshi has been literally my fucking, <laughs> fucking ace, big time. Ace is so confused on where the hell, or what the hell's going on. First... Satoshi wanted to be partners. Then, because of being shown some disrespect, now Ace has to fight Satoshi. And Satoshi was able to pull off a victory against the new up and coming high flyer. Satoshi Makoto already picking up two victories here in PXT. So, in other words, he's another competitor here in PXT that has. Yet to lose in PXT, uh, in singles competition. We have a lot of people that have yet to lose the PXT singles, so we're pretty much waiting to see what's going to happen with that. Now Satoshi. Waiting inside the ring, waiting for his opponent. The new up-and-coming high flyer. That's right, we introduce to y'all, ladies and gentlemen, 
ace. He is the ace of spades. Ace is one of the best high flyers here in PXT. He comes out, does his best, and he gives it his 100% A game all. But this entire month, he has just been, this entire month, he has been fooled, scammed, manipulated, all that. Ace looking to correct the mistake that is losing against Satoshi. Ace looking to pick up, finally, a first victory here. His first victory here in PXT. He looks to claim it here tonight for stipulation at PXT Bio War. What sounds excited? Here we are, go, ladies and gentlemen. And look at this! Oh, immediately, Satoshi goes in for Harikarada. Oh, look at this, Satoshi just taking full control of the match so far. Oh, but now Ace looking to get some advantage with the suplex. Ace looking to get control of the match. What was Ace going for here? Ace just threw Satoshi to the outside. What's Ace going for? Ace going to fly here! Oh! A suicide! And just like that, the crowd is excited for this match. Ace already has the crowd behind him. Oh, but look at this, Satoshi coming back. Oh, with an inverted DDT. Oh, look at this, Satoshi rolls back in the ring. Ace contemplating. Whoa, wait, what's up? I, 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 why, what, what just happened? Up. Oh. <laughs> Okay, storylines aside, I don't know what the fuck just happened. <laughs> oh, look at this, Satoshi looking to wear down Ace on the outside, but Ace not having it, throws him over. This Ace throwing Satoshi to the corner, going to the barricade, now getting him back in the ring. What's Ace gonna go for here? No, not going for anything. And look at this! Oh! Inverted Frankensteiner! Look at this! Matt Satoshi is just going everywhere with Eric Karanas right now. Look at this! This he's disorienting Ace right now. Holy crap! Satoshi being relentless this time around, literally not showing any remorse, going for neck breakers, going for Frankensteiners, really targeting the head of Ace, which honestly is not a bad idea, I think, oh, a big senton, oh, was about to go for another one, but Ace had his knees up, Ace looking to control the offense now, snap suplex! Ace now looking to take control of this. Oh, big elbow to the top of the skull of Satoshi. And oh, look at that! Beautiful springboard. Uh, it's a great. Oh, look at this. Ace always oh, coming out with pure shots. Oh, a corkscrew. <laughs> the corkscrew splash right there. Look at this, Ace now bringing in everything he got. Ace is fed up with Satoshi. He is tired of everything that's been happening. And look at this, oh, Ace throwing everything to the wind. Look at this, Ace now throwing everything he got against Satoshi, but Satoshi still has some fight in him. And uh, Satoshi now going into the ring, looking to probably run away now. Oh, but gets caught in a springboard drop kick. Here it is. One, two, no. Satoshi kicks out. Ace going to the outside. Oh, I think Ace is looking for Memento Mori. Here it is. Memento Mori on Satoshi. Is Ace going to pick up his first victory here? One, two, no. Satoshi kicks out somehow some way 
Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, what is this going for? Oh, what's this? Oh, beautiful! Summer, beautiful standing somersault. Here it is. One. No. Satoshi still kicks out. Satoshi still has a lot of fight in him so far. Down there, look at this Satoshi being thrown to the ropes. Ace going under, going over now. What's Ace planning on? Oh, be oh beautiful. What's it? That was a beautiful move right there. And now Satoshi, oh, quickly getting advantage, punching Ace again in the head. And now, now looking to go more technical style here. Oh, that's a big punch right there. And look at that big boot right there. Satoshi throwing everything he got now. Big forearm. Satoshi, I think, is a bit furious at the moment. No, Ace kicks out. Look at this, Satoshi. Look at this, Satoshi taking it to the ground and now keeping Ace grounded. I'm assuming he wants to go for the submission hold, but he's not giving up. And look at Oh! Ace missed the shot, but gets the kick there. Ace been missing shots. What's going on here? Who's going to win? Look at this. Ace got Satoshi up. What's Ace going for? He's taking it to the ref. I don't know what the ref's doing. Oh, my God. The ref is the flash. <laughs> oh. Oh. The ref is the flash right now. That hurt my eyes. Oh. He was going for the spin again, but Ace saw it coming. Ace saw it coming. Oh, quickly throws him over the top. And well, look at that. Could this be Ace's chance to actually pick up the win finally against Satoshi? Oh, another big kick. Oh, but Satoshi quickly goes the outside. Oh, what the, what the, what the, oh. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened when he got him in a neck breaker. And Ace kicks out. Oh, big punch there. Big strikes now being thrown from Satoshi to Ace. Satoshi again gaining control of the match. And now catching. No, wait. Ace was able to block it once again. Oh. There it is. Now. Ace finally got caught in it. Ace got caught in the spit. No, Ace is not out. Ace is still going. Satoshi is even confused at the moment. I don't even know what the crowd is chanting, but they are behind this match so far. I think Satoshi's trying to question what he wants. Oh, big kick there. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, big superplexes! Oh, bridge into some pin! Ace is not giving up this time. I think Ace is finally done with Satoshi. But Satoshi is not done yet. Satoshi's trying to put him away. Oh, what's Satoshi going for? What's he going for here? Oh, look at that! Wait, what? What? what what's I thought that was a reversal. It was not. I think he was going for Memento Mori. Oh, look at it. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. The crime boss just. That was a. That was the crime beat down. But still not even close to enough. I think Satoshi's even confused. I think he's wondering, like, what does he have to do to put Ace down? What does he have to do to put him away? I think he found it. He's going for the spoils here! It is getting Ace into submission! Ace taps out though. Honestly though, great show here. Again, showmanship from both Satoshi and Ace. Satoshi picking up another victory here against Ace and now 
he gets to pick the stipulation for their match at PXT BioWar. Which, we have just gotten word, PXT BioWar is actually going to be tomorrow night. That's right. The, our first pay-per-view is going to be tomorrow night at 7 p.m. That's when we're going to do it. Might as well get it done and over with instead of waiting an entire week. <laughs> But well, congratulations to Satoshi Makoto. Honestly, want to see how uh, things are looking for both men. Satoshi gets to pick the stipulation for tomorrow night's match. Pixie by War. But now, there is a challenge here. Uh, last week, we had two matches. Uh, pretty much debating who will be facing off each other at Pixie by War for the number one contendership match. Now, it looks like the challengers, the ones that lost the matches last week, are tagging up together to go against the winners. Looking to challenge the whole thing entirely to see if they can actually be in PXD by a war going against each other. So in other words, now, the kid and Pierce Perch must prevail in this match to still go to PXD by a war. If they lose, it will actually be Jake Lawler against G7 at PXD Bio War for a number one contender shot at the title for the title of their division. Introducing first the god no, the self-proclaimed god himself, Jake Lawler. This man made an impressive debut against Pierce Perch and now looking like he must compete against Mr. Perch once again to actually get a title opportunity at BioWar. Not an actual title match, but an opportunity to be the next number one contender for it. And the only way he sees it right now, him and his partner G7, is to be partners tonight. Jake Lawler, the self-proclaimed god of wrestling. What is there to say about him except that he showed incredible display last week and his debut match. Last week he went against the kid. The kid was able to pick up the win, but Jake Lawler did not make it an easy feat. He gave the kid possibly the toughest fight of his career here right now in PXC. And now, Jake Lawler's partner. He claims to be the retribution of PXC, and his name is G7. G7 has made a name himself in the first two weeks of PXC. Claiming to be not just a giant slayer, but also a legend slayer, and wants to be a goat slayer. That's right, G7 was not able to pick up the win last week against Pierce Perch, and looking to make right by that by teaming up with Jake Lawler to probably change who's going to be fighting in that number one contendership spot. G7 has been a mid-carder for almost a good majority of his career as a wrestler in general though tonight he looks to probably have one final chance to change that instead of going back straight to the bottom G7 looks ready G7 is ready to prove to everyone here that he can move up and that he can slay anybody in his path Strange team of Jake Lawler and G7. But now they have to go against a man that has yet to be pinned here in PXT. That's right, the kid. The kid has yet to be pinned on a live show at PXT. He's been pinned in the tournaments, yes, but he has not been pinned on our actual live show. So PXT record wise, he is undefeated. He was able to make it to at least the semi-finals before being defeated by C. Jill. But honestly, during the live shows, he has yet to get close to being defeated here. He has shown incredible display of athleticism, durability, and everything. And that is the reason why he earned himself a PXT number one contendership shot at BioWar. But now the question is, 
Is he still going to have that match against Pierce Perch tomorrow? Or is it going to be changed to G7 versus Jake Lawler? There he is. The self-proclaimed GOAT of PXT. Pierce Perch, the moneymaker, the moolah. He is the GOAT of wrestling. He's been here, he's been there, he's been fuck about everywhere. And he looks to probably defend his shot, his shot, and he claims it's his shot for the PXT Championship tomorrow night at BioWar. Looks to defend that match here tonight with his partner and opponent, if it stays the same, tomorrow night, the kid. So Pierce is gonna have to really focus here to at least be ready for one, defending that match tonight in this tag team match and be ready to take on the kid who again has yet to be pinned here in PXT. Last week we had our first tag team match. It was a spectacular. Tonight we are gonna have our second one with high flyers and a powerhouse. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Lawler and the kids starting it off. Lawler taking control of it. These two had an exceptional match last week. And look at this. I think because Jake now knows what to expect from the kid, he's now taking control of it a lot much better than he did last week. Last week was a little bit of Jake taking control, but the kid was able to answer some maneuvers. Just like now, looks like the kid is looking to do it again here tonight to answer the moves. Oh! Look at this, I was going to say Lawler was taking advantage, but the kid again with a great reversal. Oh, but Lawler with a reversal of his own. Oh, big suplex right there. Lawler going to the corner and now tagging in G7. G7 and the kid have yet to face off against each other. Oh, look at this running neckbreaker to the kid. Oh, look at this. G7 is the thing he's showing off to Lawler. And Lawler didn't like it. And immediately just throw him over the top rope. And went straight to Pierce. But Pierce, being the ring veteran that he is. This hit him with a forearm, and now Lawler, I believe, is a little dazed. Oh, quickly rec he recaptures it, takes the kid to the corner, but the kid quickly fighting back, not wanting to give them an advantage here tonight. Oh, look at this, but Lawler getting advantage now. Oh, what's Lawler going for here? Lawler taking the kid to the corner and hits him with a stick eyes into the corner. Oh, look at this. Lawler, Lawler showing his frustrations against the kid. Lawler did not like what happened last week. And now showing his frustrations here tonight. Oh, big kick to the gut. And now G7's coming in. Now here it is. A big match probably later in the future. But right now, G7's taking control. And now going for the pin against the kid. One. Two, no. Oh, but the kid quickly grabs the rope break. Perch got scared there, too. I think Perch was scared that he just lost his title match. But look at this. Oh, look at this. G7 quickly taking control and hit a snap suplex. G7 is an exceptional fighter here in PXT. Oh, what's this? Oh, the kid was able to get the tag on the Pierce Perch. And now it is Perch against G7. Another rematch from last week. Those Perch on the top rope. A correction, neck first on the top rope. And now G7 taking control of Perch. Oh, but Perch not going to allow him to take any more advantage than he already did. Oh, look at this. Perch now coming up with the big strikes. Perch now coming in with the big strikes here. And look at this. Like Perch immediately tags the kid back in. I don't know if that's a smart idea because the kid is taking a lot of damage here tonight. Case in point because now G7 just takes the control. And hits a spine buster out of nowhere. 
and the kid rolls out. G7 in quick pursuit. Oh, but the kid gets him with a clothesline. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a Kimura lock. G7's going for a Kimura. Oh, but look at this. The kid coming back at it. Gets out of the Kimura lock. Kid hitting some basic shots here. And now, oh. I don't know what to call that, but right now we're at a five count. G7 gets thrown into the outside. And a count of six here. Looks like the kid was going to go for an outside. Oh, hits Perch with... Oh, look at this. The kid saw G7 come back. And now, oh, throws him into the corner. And now stomping away on the kid. G7 getting the kid up. Oh, look at this. And up, oh! Sideways backbreaker right here. I can't see if Perch is back up on the ring or not to see if the kid has some help. But, oh, okay, Perch is back in. All are now tagged. G7 going to take a moment for himself. Look at this. Lawler now showing the disrespect. Oh, look at this. Lawler not wanting to even deal with a kid. Just stomps him away. Another show of disrespect that he, there's no reason to fight him. Oh, wait. Here it is. Oh, Kingslayer on the outlaw. Pierce Perch got in there quick. But look at this. Lawler looking to fight a little bit himself. Oh, G7 hitting. Oh, G7 going to the top rope. Calling for the kid to get up. And now goes one big chop from the top. From the top to the outside. G7 now getting control. But look at this. The kid coming back with a little bit of life. Oh, but G7's not going to allow it. And then hits the rolling neck breaker. Look at this, G7 getting the kid back in. Oh, wait, what's G7 going for? What's he going for here? Oh, looking to put away Perch. So then the kid has no form of support. That count six, and now, oh, look at this. Oh, the kid getting a reversal. Oh, but look at this. Oh, so is G7 in the same way. Big clothesline. Oh, here it is, G7 going for Kingslayer again! And Perch is up! Oh, wait. Oh, I think he was going for the jumping shock, but he didn't get it. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, the kid reverses. The kid going in for a jumping neck breaker! Oh, there it is, another neck breaker right there. Honestly, I think the kid has been out of this match for a good majority now because he got hit not just with one King Slayer, but with two. Oh! Big shot to the chest. So look at this, G7 now. Oh! Bomb right there, Jake. Now looking like he wants to take control in this match. Now looking like he wants to fight. Oh, what's Lawler going for? What's Lawler going for? Oh! A good slide kick, but now is it enough? Oh, was going with the big knee, but quickly the kid reverses and Jake Lawler quickly rolls out. Oh, but look at this. They both on the outside now. Jake now coming in with strikes of himself. And oh, the big shots right there. Bigger shots. An extreme variety of shots right here. Jake giving everything he got now this time around. Oh, look at this. The kid now. Oh, look at this. Now a fight on the outside. Both men. Eight. 
Oh my god. I'm... Oh, we were about to hit nine, but Jake was able to get back in. And now we have Pierce Birch against Jake Lawler. Oh my! Law and order! Law and order! One! Two! Oh, Birch barely gets out of it. The kid was nowhere to be found there. And look at this. Everyone's saying this is wrestling here with Pierce Perch and Jake Lawler in the ring now. Oh, here it is. Perch getting him up. Oh! Oh, look at this. Perch looking to take out G7. So then Lawler has no support. And look at this. Oh! That big money maker kick. Is it enough? Oh! Good suplex right there. Now Jake Lawler has gotten control back. It looks like G7 and Lawler may be able to pick up a win here tonight because Perch and the kid are now extremely exhausted. Oh! Who's going to get launched up but gets caught in the DDT? I'm telling you, Lawler is a great technician in this ring. A technician or striker? I'm really not sure what Lawler is a technical fighting-wise. But he... Oh, now showing disrespect to the self-proclaimed GOAT. Lawler getting perched in the corner. Got him in the corner. What's going to happen here? Look at this. I'm about to see some tag team offense here. Oh, big... Oh, look at this. G7 wants a bit of revenge from last week. Oh, what's this? Oh! That was an extreme neckbreaker. One, two, no. G7 kicks out. Look at this. Perch, feeling exhausted, tags in the kid. Okay, going for Ooh, good elbow. Gonna pick the rose out. Oh, look at this! Getting rid of Lawler! Now it's just the kid in G7! Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh! That was a follow away neck breaker! One! No, only a one count. G7 is hard to put down. Oh, snap suplex! Oh, the kid was going for a knee shot, but quickly gets reversed. And now G7. G7 has the kid up at the kid. Quickly reversing it into a DDT. And look at that. Jake Lawler tags in. But now Jake Lawler has no support. Oh, God. Suplex right there to the kid. Jake Lawler understands that both people on the other team are practically exhausted. Jake Lawler is still technically a fresh man. He hasn't wrestled that much in this match. Oh, look at this. Oh, a pump handle powerbomb. Oh, look at this. Lawler was Lawler coming back at it. And look at this. Was Lawler going for Oh! He was able to drop the kid. Oh, but the kid still coming back. The kid not giving up. The kid looking to do what his master couldn't do. What his mentor, master, teacher, everything could not do without his pick up gold. That's what the kid's going for. That's what the kid wants. And he's trusting Pierce Perch to put it away. But Jake Lawler's still kicking. No, oh, look at this. Jake's not done. And punches at the kid. And the kid comes back. <laughs> and now Pierce Perch looking to take advantage. Pierce Perch needs to make amends with Jake Lawler with embarrassing him on both their debut matches. There's Perch now striking back. Here it is now Perch coming back with a series of strikes, dropping Lawler down. Oh, big knee shot there. And look at this. Another one. The self-proclaimed go to PXT looking.
to put away the executioner. Big Lawler down and out, looking to probably get a tag. No, but the kid is now tagged back in. The kid going back, going in now. But look at this! Oh, gets caught with a big knee, but the kid goes back with a strike to the face. And now Lawler is stuck in the ring. The kid and Perch now taking advantage of everything. Oh, I think Lawler was dazed there for a second. That's why he didn't take any. Oh, flow of action. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think Jake was trying to go, go, to go for a big tag, but I think Lawler's already out. Look at this. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, but quickly gets shot in the back of the head. Oh, look at this. Law and order. Perch already ready to disrupt the pin. Oh, but look at this. Lawler. Lawler going in for it. No. The kid reverses another law and order. Is that enough? Oh, but G7 was able to stop it. Gonna be a long ass match. <laughs> Look at this, Jake now throwing kid to the rope and oh, quickly throwing him down. Look at this, Jake now getting to the corner. Look at this. Why going for another big gut shot? And now G7 is left. Oh, look at this! Jumping shock! That was a jump shot! And Perch was able to... Oh, look at this. I think Lawler's actually going to go and try to disrupt. Oh, but the kid now coming back at it. Is, Law is Lawler going to do anything? I think Lawler was about to go do something, but thought second guess because he saw what was happening in the ring. I think he knew he was going to get... There was six shots. And now Perch against G7. G7's a little dazed as it is right now. And now there it is, Perch coming with strikes with G7 ducks. Gonna get him on four power slam. G7 now tagging in Jake. This is a series of match. This is a series of tags. This oh, oh, big power bomb right there. G7 was there to quickly save. Alright, what's this? What's this? What's this? And oh no! Oh no! Goes G7 with a power bomb to the outside! I think Perch just secured their match at Biowar! Oh! Perch needs to put him away. Perch needs to put him away. This is his golden opportunity here. Oh, here it is. Big check! Here it is! One! Two! And just like that, Pierce Perch picks up a victory against Jake Lawler! And with that, at PXT Bio War, it will be Pierce Perch against the Kid to see who will be number one contender for the PXT Championship. Congratulations to that, but now we are going to have, uh, you know, just one of our random matches here tonight. <laughs> And again, this is all happening tomorrow. That's right, we just made a decision today because might as well get it done and over with. Introducing first. Mox himself. Mox has yet... We haven't seen Mox in a couple weeks, actually. Mox was here on the debut show to see which stipulation he would be in. And then we haven't seen him for the past two weeks. So this is for... This is his second appearance here in PXT. Mox hasn't been able to make a name for himself at all here yet, but... He's here now. And he's here to probably put away not just a legend, but also... Onyx. Oh, 
Mox, an ex Mox is an exceptional technicianist, and he's able to pull a lot of shit out of his ass. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the biggest match of the night. Possibly, maybe. It is. Now his opponent, Onyx. Onyx made an exceptional. As I said, Onyx came out of nowhere helping Adonis against Apco last week. So, probably looking to see him at his ringside for their last man standing match at PXT Bio War. Excuse me, the crowd is behind Onyx, ready. The See what this man can bring to the table. We haven't seen a lot of Onyx either. Onyx was able to pick up a win against Justin, I believe, on our second episode. Or just a couple weeks back, actually. They would pick up a win. Looking to do the same again. Hopefully to make, you know, some name for himself in the division. Justin, apparently we're hearing a lot of boos now. It looks like the fans here are not big fans of Justin. Lately, Justin has been picking up a, a good, a good number of L's. Has, has not been doing good. He tagged him with his brother last week. Also, want to point out this first week we are not going to see Devil, surprisingly. But um. Yeah, it's actually partnered with his brother last week, and apparently there was some heat in the back stage area to where Justin and Devil apparently had another fallout. Mainly because Justin last week did not tag in almost at all in their match. He was practically in there for a good majority, but that was not even the only reason. It was also because, well, they lost via countout. And no, they are, or they used to be, a legendary tag team as well. Former tag team champions. So that is where and possibly the fallout happened and probably why no one is happy with Justin at the moment. There it is, the triple threat match. Not really to determine anything, but just to see what happens here tonight. As Onyx just claiming full on control by taking out Mox, but Justin coming in to take advantage. Just like in Battle Royale, Justin comes in with a third party, and now Onyx does the same! Look at this. Oh! Throws him down, and look at this. Now, Onyx again taking control and bringing it to Mox. But, oh, Justin comes in with a crossbody to Onyx! Justin not happy with probably losing to Onyx. And Mox now is just there. Mox is just looking to claim his first victory in general. And again, Onyx now coming back at it. And oh, oh, what's he going for? Oh, good shot there. Ooh, beautiful shot from Mox. Mox now coming. Oh, Justin taking advantage. Oh, look at this. Again. Oh! Oh, I think he was going for a spear, but Onyx coming in with defense, now taking on both competitors and holding his own. But now both competitors are now fighting, and Justin kicks Mox in the head, and I guess it was enough power to knock Mox out. Now the kid is taking advantage of Justin, but Justin quickly right back at it and hits him with a drop kick. Oh, look at this. Justin was looking to bring everything to the kid, but no! Oh! Look at this, just left and right, once, once one, oh Justin now just taking control of the match, put away Onyx and then now starting to focus on Mox. 
Mugs on the outside, trying to get a little undazed here. Doesn't got to Mox on the top rope. I don't know what he's planning for. Oh, Will Barrel Bulldog from the top. Oh, and Onyx quickly throwing a shot at Justin. And now, oh, looks to pin Justin. One. Justin's still fresh. If anything, I'd say pin Mox. Or not. Oh, look at that. I don't know what happened there, but it looks like Onyx just was not happy with it. It gets Kit with a crossbody. Here it is. One. No, wasn't even close to enough to put away Onyx. Was over there. Look at this. Now, Mox is coming back at it. Oh, look at this. Mox now coming back at it. Mox now throwing everything he got. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Ooh, big elbow shot. And... Oh, DDT right there! Ooh, big boot there. Now... Oh, good move right there. Justin now getting advanced, but Mox just on the outside. Oh, wait, look at this! Look at this still a win! One! I don't know what happened there. I think the ref was again paid off by Justin. Again. Big boot there. Now look at this! Justin catching Onyx with the hair Karana. Ooh. Now damaging the arm of Onyx. Justin looking to probably just claim the blemish or just put away Onyx to Are they flying? Uh I believe they're flying. And he got hit with the He got hit with the honor roll. And now Mox getting the getting the legend up and oh dropping him on top of the rope. And now Onyx coming back with a big boot. Wanna point out Justin is still up and running, still good. Alright, what are we gonna see here from Onyx? And oh All that And oh goes to the top dropping Mox down and Justin already coming in with a barricade Oh no Very close enough Onyx stopping that real quick Oh good shot right there Oh, look at this, now Onyx looking to come back at it and now try to put away Justin. But either way, there is no submission on the outside. Oh, but Justin looking to just power his way out. I think they just want to show that he can't take advantage of him like that. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think they were going to try double teaming on Mox, but Mox wasn't having it. There's a monitor. Look at this, Mox now taunting away at Onyx. Throws him back in the ring as well. Justin being the smart, <laughs> the smart veteran that he is, coming up with some weapons of his own. Oh, beautiful bridge. Oh, but quickly gets stopped. I don't know why he didn't attack with the kendo, but oh, there it is. There it is one. Oh, that scared me. I thought my phone rang. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. Talking machine. Oh. What is with the cartoon sound effects? Wait, look at this. Oh, the asylum. It's asylum. One. Two. No, Onyx quickly stops it. Oh. Look at that short power there. Oh, but Justin quickly stops the momentum. Down hard on the arm there. And oh, dropping Justin on the knee of Mox. 
We're already an hour in today. We want to thank everybody that came out. Whether watching it live or recorded, thank you guys for coming out. And yes, this is will be edited down to where there will be entrance music and everything later down this week. Same thing with Bio War as well. Oh, look at this. Mox coming in with a reversed neck breaker. But look at this. Oh, now Mox is taking advantage of everything in this match. Oh, but Onyx not allowing it. Onyx not allowing it. And Justin now taking advantage. Ooh. He's trying to. Oh, beautiful shot there. And now Onyx has the kendo. But Mox quickly coming back at it himself. Oh. Oh, where was this? Rebound! Oh, Justin going in for the wheelbarrow. Power bomb! Or sunset flip power bomb, I say so. I say, oh, wait. But look at this, he's seeing the opportunity. One, two. No, Onyx is still up. Justin playing with his. Oh, big kick right there. Onyx now coming back at it. Mox back in. Oh, but Onyx hitting Justin from the top. But no, Quigley is reversed. And now Mox stops it. Oh, one. I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. But then again, we're talking to a crazy person. Ooh, big shot there. Oh, I, I don't know what happened there exactly. We're on to the corner and then dropping him down. Mox is getting the kendo, but Justin quickly stops it. Oh, and now sending him flying. Look at this. Oh, Mox now taking control. Mox looking to gain his first victory here in PXT. Ooh, big punch there. Oh, look at this. Asylum. There it is. One, two. No, Justin kicks out at two. Onyx, well, but, 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 I don't know what happened to the kendo stick. It just flew out of the sky. Oh, there it is! Flatline! One, two! No, Onyx kicks out, dude. Can you imagine? That would have been beautiful. I don't know what Onyx is planning with the still steps, but he keeps going back to the still steps here. Look at this, now just shawning away on the outside. But look at this! Oh, I was going for the springboard! Frog Splash, missed it though. And now, oh, belly to belly suplex. And with that, Onyx now sweeps the leg of Mox. Oh, thinking it's enough to put away Mox. And I, I guess it was. I guess Mox hit the back of his head. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, actually, Mox did not look good. Should we? Uh, somebody check on Mox. Onyx picking up another victory here in PXC. Right now, though, we are going to be seeing uh, Gen X versus Super. Pretty much both men are pretty much unhappy here in PXC, mainly because they both have yet to claim a victory here in PXC. And because of that, Gen X demanded a match, and Super demanded a match, so I said, screw it, we're giving them both a match, but this time against each other. So that it's 100% certain that one of these men will be... Picking up their first victory here in PXC. That's right, we're gonna have Gen X versus Super here in PXT. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to PXT. And tonight, that's right, we're, we're, we're seeing him again. The man that complains left and right about his place here in PXT, Gen X. Gen X demanded a match here tonight because he is furious that he has yet to pick up a victory here. Mud, he wasn't the only one that came into the office. Uh, we also had Super also pretty upset because he wasn't in last week's episode. So this week, he demanded to be in this week's episode and actually claim a victory. So I said, screw it. Y'all guys are going to be in this week's PXC go, and we'll see who the hell picks up the victory. Finally. Ben X looks to pick up his first win against a giant. And Super... Looking to show everything he got.
Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The big man himself. Super. All I do, Super, is a goddamn giant. He is literally seven foot tall. He is the tallest I think we have here in PXT. That's why I'm excited to probably see a later match of him versus C. Jill. I think that'd be a pretty cool match. But with this said, with this said, Super will be in the fuckery match tomorrow night to determine who will be the number one contender for the PXT YouTube Championship. And look at this again, just throwing his display of height, just going over the top rope, just like nothing. Super knows he's the best, so he comes in with style and knows that he will just go ahead and put anybody away. Gen X looking to claim his first victory. Super looking to claim his first victory. Who will be the first? Let's see. Oh, Super coming in full force. Oh, Super coming in. Pierce strikes now. And now has Gen X Super up and drops him down. Seven foot tall. Uber is seven foot tall and immediately just throws him down. And look at this now, just manhandling Gen X. I'm pretty sure this is not what Gen X mean when he said he wanted a match against someone that has yet to claim a victory. Ooh, big kick there. Gen X looking to probably gain advantage, but quickly let's go of it. Ooh, was gonna hit the big boot, but Gen X quickly dodged it and now coming in with some strikes of his own. Uh oh. Oh, lifted up by Super. No, oh, big drop onto the top of the rope. Oh, honestly, I'm scared of anything seeing anything Super does, mainly because holy crap, it's terrifying to see, especially if it deals with his height. Look at this. Super again getting Gen X completely up and throws up from seven feet tall. Seven feet all the way to the ground. That is, that is. Fucking tall, dude. And look at this, Super. This is this whole match is purely Super, and it's all his right now. Oh, look at this. Mixed martial artist was able to get out of the Boston Crab, and now looking to probably do some damage to Super before he gets up. Super rolls out to quickly get back on his feet, and now Genix. Oh, Genix coming in with a big clothesline. It is an oh big body tackle. Holy shit. Super does not hold back. And now oh throw a, re a reverse choke slam and now just stomping on the stomach of Gen X. Oh dodges the chop. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This whole match has been nothing but super. We are at a count of five. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, look at this. Super actually throwing Gen X back in the ring. Yes. Oh, this is the big boot again. Gen X is an exceptional striker, so he's able to dodge this like nothing, but with a big clothesline. One. Only gets a one count. Gen X still fully fresh. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at that. Now Gen X showing his mixed martial art capability. Oh, it's a roundhouse kiss. Roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick. <laughs> roundhouse kiss. Yes, that's what it's called. And now look at that. The big blows of the face of the giant. Oh, but <laughs> Super throws everything he got. Gen X not being light either. He's still going in with big shots and now throwing in big shots to the head. Looking to damage the face of him to get him set up for those big kicks. Oh, but look at this. Oh, I think. Ooh, the weight was a little bit too much. But even with that, Super was attacking as well. Big boot! And without, Gen X rolls out. Uh oh What's he going for? What's Super going for? 
They're going for a splash. Is he? Oh, big elbow to the top of the skull of Genix. And now again, stomping Genix, breaking his ribs practically. Look at that. Genix throwing Super back in the ring. Both men looking to probably gain a victory finally. Oh, big shot there. Super. Super getting him up. Ball white. Oh, hit the eyes. I believe Genix hit the eyes of Super. Now sends it to the ropes. Oh, good way to trip up a giant. Question is, what's Genix going for? Oh, what's he going for here? Oh, what's he going for here? What's he going for here? And... Oh, the big kick! That was a big roundhouse kick to the forehead of Super. Is it enough to put him away? No! Super keeps going. That was, that was a big kick. Everyone's selling the crowd. They're telling... The crowd is telling Super and Genix to fight forever. Everyone's loving this match here tonight. Oh, look at this. And now... Oh, misses the elbow. Super quickly dodges. Oh, big knee shot. And now... Oh! Goes Super to the side. Tries to stomp away, but quickly misses. And now, Gen X taking control. Oh, big shot right there to the chest. Oh, Super, is it enough though? One, two... And with that, Genix picks up his first victory here in PXC! And with that, you know, Genix is happy as hell, picking up finally his first victory here in PXT. Well, congratulations to Genix on picking up his first victory here tonight. We had just gotten some news that Rodrigo is not here at the moment so the match actually got changed to Bill grip versus devil that's right devil is here tonight ladies and gentlemen and it looks like Bill grip is going to be facing devil Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Bugrip coming out here to shut everybody up. Bugrip is coming out here to shut everybody up because apparently everybody around town has been saying that Bugrip never put away the devil. Instead, it was the other way around. Devil put so much fear in both Bugrip and Rodrigo that they couldn't even in the man. That's right. That is where this whole thing has started. Which honestly, there is some weight to that. I mean, both Rodrigo and Bugrip did the same thing to Devil. So really, is it can they put Devil away? Or is it that they are too afraid of even learning of what would happen if Devil actually got an advantage on them? Where Devil actually Took them down. Would he reap for their souls? We don't know. I mean, Gen X still going around. But in this case, there's some vengeance to be held. So would it be different? Again, we do not know. We won't find out. Probably till the end of this match. Who knows? But Bugrip is known for putting mouths to shut. Or shutting mouths up. And because... Whenever anybody doubts him, he shuts the mouths of any doubter in his path because he is the true PXG champion in his eyes. But now he has to face one of his demons. Devil has made a name for himself so far here at PXD, but not a good one. 
because mainly he got counted out twice so already everybody is questioning is the devil really all that and I think that's why devil decided to accept this match so then he too can prove to everybody that he is an actual threat not just the title holders but to everybody in the locker room. So far, the Devil has not had a lot of victories, only has one. He has two losses here in PXT, mainly both ring out counts. He hasn't gotten pinned yet in PXT. No man has been able to pin, well that's a lie. Live show wise, has never been able to pin the Devil. The only man so far that was able to claim that is the kid. Because the kid came in 100% prepared for that fight. And here it is. The devil himself. Devil looking to put away Bugrip for embarrassing him with a ring out count. He wants to come down here and prove to everybody that Devil cannot be put away by any human being. He cannot be pinned. He cannot be submitted. Looking to prove to everybody here that he is a way bigger threat than anybody can believe. What does that mean? I have no idea. There it is. And look at this. Oh! Devil coming straight out at it. Devil and Bugrip Grip not having a good. Oh! Well, say good, uh, you know co-worker friendly relationship right now because mainly Hugo took the easy way out could not pin the devil and devil was upset with losing not once but twice via ring out looking to take out some frustrations here tonight on Bugrip oh big shot there and now snap suplex from Devil to Bugrip. Now the full match is so far all Devil. Devil's coming in with big strikes. Oh, look at that. Bugrip looking to take advantage. And now Bugrip with a oh, swinging neck breaker. Oh, big knee shot there. Bugrip is a big man. And look at this. Oh, belly on belly suplex. And thinks it's enough to put away Devil, but Devil. Showing that he has life in him, only gives him a one. Oh, this is the shot. Oh, but Devil, being the expert veteran that he is, he immediately goes for another one. <laughs> sort of like twists the bullet there. And again, just showing. Oh, showing everyone here. How come he can probably put away? Oh, look at this. Oh, a flying demon. <laughs> this, is the, this is the target, though. And Bugrip's now taking advantage of the miss shot. Oh, look at this, just scraping away. But Devil's not taking it either. Oh, throws him down. Now, Devil coming in with, again, the big shots. And, oh, throws Bugger back in. Devil, I think right now, is not going to want to try to give Bugrip a chance to do another ring out count victory here. And, oh, just like that! It's Hell's Payback. Oh, look at this. I think he's going. I think Bugrip is gonna, about to go. No! He was able to dodge it for a little while. And now, hits him with a swinging neck breaker. And now, choking away, Devil.
Look at this. Look at this. Kind of stomping on the hand of Devil. I'm going to show you the crowd that he's hes not even looking at him. And it's a puke grip on Devil. That's probably it. One. Two. No. Devil is still kicking. I was telling him to fight forever. Look at this. Now Devil coming back at it. And oh. Back of his head hitting first from the map there. And oh. Devil's just dropping him back down. I what Devil's going for, but he does not want him to stand up. Ooh, now attacking the arm there. Oh, what's this? Oh, here it is. Oh! I think it was hell shot. And double choke slam! There's a two-headed choke slam, and now just drags him across the ring there. Look, it's now hurting the arm of Bugrip Grip there. Devil again just reclaiming full control of this match. Boom. Oh, look at this. I think Devil's going to go. Going to try sending Bugrip Grip straight to hell. There it is. One, two. No, Bugrip kicks out. Bugrip is another man that is yet to be pinned here in PXT. I think this would stop the momentum of Bugrip if Devil picks up the victory here tonight. Oh, gets hit in the gut. Oh, look at that. Bugrip now getting him up. And Bugrip hitting another Bugrip. That has to put away Devil. Here it is. One. Two, no! The demon's still going! And look at this, look at this. Bugrip getting frustrated now. I don't think he understands how Devil keeps getting up from it. I'm telling you, Devil is something else. It hits a big boot! Devil is something else, and now looking for a submission, trying to get Bugrip to possibly tap out here tonight. I don't see Bugrip tapping out here tonight, though. I really don't. There it is. Bugrip gets out. Bugrip now coming in with full offense. And... Oh! Quick snap, DDT. Oh, is that enough to put away Devil? Maybe. One. Two. It was a good wind-up DDT. Honestly, I thought it was enough to put him away. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, big clothesline there. Ooh, good shot there. And right, look at this, Devils. Oh! Devil coming back at it himself. Hits him with a big leg drop. Ooh, was going to hit him with an elbow, but missed. And with that, Bukup hits him with a big boot. Oh, look at this. And now. Oh. That will get some off of him, though. Bugrip looking to take an advantage. Bugrip sending him to the ropes. Goes under. Goes over. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful transition. Looking to put away the devil here. But it still isn't enough. And, oh, a third one! A third pew grip! One! Two! How the hell is Devil still going? <laughs> this man's not human! Look at this. I think pew grip is finally done. I think pew grip is finally done with Devil! What's he gonna go for? Is he gonna go for a splash here? No, he's telling Devil to get up. 
I think he's trying to seal the nail in the cover with a crossbody. Is that enough? One, two, three. Yes. A big crossbody from the top to Devil. Dropping him down. Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, look at this. The PXD champion giving. Oh, look at that. The PXD champion sending a sign out to everybody, letting them know that he is the PXD champion. Also getting some payback from the very first episode to where Bugrip attacked him. Who will prevail in this hour-long Iron Man match that's starting tomorrow night at PXD Bio War? All right, but now we are going on to our main event match. That's right, Sea Jail in Titans. Uh, so we've been hearing some talk, apparently. It's confusing the fan base a little bit, even us. Uh, we don't know what type of match is actually going to be happening at PXT Bio War between them two for the PXT uh, YouTube Championship. But this uh, last week, when these two went against each other, they went full force against each other and brought everything to the table. Hell, they started it before the they, before the other one was even done with their entrance. But here it is: the main event, Titan versus CGL. Android Usain first. He is from Greece. The Paragon of PXT. The Titan of PXT. That's right. Titan was able to pick up a win at the inaugural PXT's Battle Royale to become the number one contender for the title. And now looking to pick up at least a victory here to get some big morale. To get some big... You know, what is it? I forgot. Momentum. Looking to gain some big momentum by finally putting away Sigil. Sigil has yet to be pinned here in PXT. He is still technically undefeated in PXT, just like Bugrip. Bugrip has yet to be pinned here in PXT as well, besides our inaugural tournament that happened. But on live shows, they have yet to be pinned. Titan, ready, waiting for the White Viper of Russia. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is the PXC YouTube Champion. The inaugural champion of that, C. Jill. C. Jill has yet to lose a match here. He has put away many with the Viper Clutch. But now, tonight, I don't know what he's looking for, but right now he does have stipulation control, which means he can't decide what happens at PXD Bio War. He has yet to tell us all he says that it, it, right now it is going to remain as a PXT sanctioned match. That is all he said. He has yet to tell us anything else. PJ, again, as we stated before, he is undefeated here in PXT. He has yet to lose. He has yet to be pinned in PXT. If I should correct myself, he has lost. He lost against Titan in the Battle Royale to determine if he was going to have a month off or if he was going to defend the title this month. He lost, and now we are here to where he has to defend the PXT YouTube Championship against Titan. Not tonight, but tomorrow night. Here it is. Titan CGL. Here we go. And there it is, CGL. Coming straight up at it. CJ comes in with so much fire, so much ferocity. He's almost power and he's striking the same thing with Titan. Titan can match the strength of CJ, but CJ has even more to that. He has all oh, everything in his arsenal. Oh, big forearm punch right there. CJ waiting on Titan and now oh look at this was going for a big strike but Titan quickly reversing and Titan now looking to take advantage Titan looking to take advantage of the Viper himself 
And oh, big elbow to the White Viper of Russia. And now back clothesline. Titan realizes that he has an opening and he needs to take it because if not, he, the Viper will come back in. Just like that. And boom! Big heel kick. That's what I'm talking about. See, Jill just knows when to go straight up at it. Knows when to go full force. Big drop kick to the knees of Titan. Dropping him down. And look at this. Big close out of the corner. Pure powerhouses at their best. And pure power. And a strike from both men. One being an exceptional striker. The other being an exceptional powerhouse. And look at that. I'm telling you, oh, big kick right here. C. Jill with his long legs, just taking full on control of the match. One, only gets a one count off the Titan. C. Jill is taking full on control of this match. Titan was able to get a small little spin, but now, oh, oh, I guess he missed. But there it is, Titan looking to make a comeback here. Oh, Northern Lights. But wait, no, that's not it. Oh. Rolling Spartan, here it is, one. Oh, see Jill, being trained well by his late great father, Eju. Look at this, Titan, looking to put away the Viper of, oh, Olympus Falls. Oh, but the bottom, the bottom rope, his foot was under the bottom rope, so it didn't count. It looks like Titan's gonna go for a big splash! Oh, misses it though! And now CJ. Oh, wait! Oh! Oh! Going over the Viper Lock! Here it is! Looking to put away Titan here tonight! Oh, but look at this! Titan gets out! And now it's stomping away! Oh, big shot there! Oh, I think Titan was gonna go for Olympus Falls! Look at this, look at this, look at this big power slam to the Viper of PXT. And Titan now getting him up and now throwing him across the ring. Titan doing except, oh look at this, CJ coming back at it though. CJ's not done, CJ's getting up with a clothesline, taking him to the outside of the ring. The question is, what's CJ going to go for here? Oh look at this, oh big headbutt there. Titan now holding his own against the White Viper himself. Oh, but big clothesline right there. CJ looking to make a comeback here. What's going on here then? Big spy buster. Isn't it enough to put away Titan? One, two, no. Oh, we're close. Oh, what's this? And oh! Father Sins! One, two, no! Father Sins was not enough to put away C. Jill. Oh, look at this! Oh! The White Viper can fly! And look at this, see Jill just again taking control, but either way, this match is more back and forth than we thought. Who missed it? And oh, missed again, both men reversing each other, not letting each other hit the big shot. Oh, big shot moves. Oh, look at this, see Jill now throwing him back in the ring. Oh, see Jill going to the top. This could make or break a match, see Jill! Elbow to the back, to the spine of Titan! Is it enough to put him away? Here it is! One, two, no! Titan is still going. But see Jill, looking to put away the Titan. Looking to put him away with Father Sins! There it is, for the win, one, two, Titan kicks out of Father Sins. Now what's CJ gonna do, take him to the corner. Oh, 
was going to hit for a big clothesline there. But missed and not tightened. Look at the claim. Oh! Beautiful suplex. But it, his foot is still underneath the rope. Oh, what's happening here? Olympus Falls! The put away! Seagill! Seagill kicks out! Both men not giving the other the not giving the other a hands out guarantee win here. It is big splash, but Seagill gets out of the way! T. Jill looking to remain undefeated here in PXC, but what's going on here? Oh, big kick right there! Oh, big shot there. And now Titan looking to make an advantage, but oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh! An inverted DDT! And now look at this. Oh, look at that. Showing frustration for the first time from the Viper. Look at this, look at this, big shots here, big shots, and big forearm! Seagill just tossing everything to everywhere. He, oh, here it is, here it is, the Viper Lock, the Viper Lock, is it enough? Here it is, is it enough to put away Titan? Is Titan going to tap out here tonight? Is he going to tap out to the Viper? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? No, Titan gets out! Titan gets out! Oh, big clothesline in the back. And now look at this, look at this! Titan throwing everything. Oh, look at this. Looking to claim the first victory against the White Viper of Russia. Looking to claim the first pin. Looking to gain the big momentum before tomorrow night's bio war. But CGO quickly rolls out. Or even giving him the opportunity, but gets caught in a double axle from the top row from the. Look at this, CGO being caught up and now thrown across the ring by Titan. Titan, CGO bringing. Oh, look at that, throwing all the body weight to the stomach of CGO. Trying to get him up there, but look at this. CJ. Oh, CJ coming in with strikes of his own. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Five. At a count of five. Oh, look at this. Look at this. DJ immediately went back in the ring. I think he knew Titan was going to come back in. Oh, but look at this. Titan gets him. Titan gets him. And Olympus falls. One. Two. No. See, Jill is not done. The White Viper of Russia is anything but done here in PXT. Big kick there to the side of the face. Is there enough? One. Two! No! Both men are not ready to give up. Oh, here it is. Looking to put him away with Father Sins! Is it enough? One! Two! Three! And CJ picks up the victory. Oh, what's this? What's CJO gonna do here? Oh, look at this. CJO getting a chair, looking to probably get a little bit of an advantage. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's this? What's this? It's Abco! Abco just saved Titan. I don't think Abco appreciated what we just saw, but either way, that was a five-star match. And holy shit. Oh, my God. See, Jill remains undefeated here in PXT, but was trying to probably get an advantage for tomorrow night's Fire War. But doesn't get to because Abco was able to stop it. Again, to lay out the full list 
of everything that's going on. This is not an order, but these are the matches that will be happening. So we will be having Adonis versus Abko in a division switch match. That is going to be a last man standing match. So whoever is the last man standing will actually see what happens in the division. So if Abko wins, he goes to the PXC division. If Adonis wins, he goes... Actually, he just stays. It just stays normal. Then we'll have a number one contenders match between The Kid versus Perch. And then after that, we have Ace versus Satoshi. And then we will also have the title matches. It is CJ versus Titan for the PXT YouTube title. We yet to know the stipulation match that CJ has chosen. We yet to know that. But right now we're still in wait on that. And then obviously the first match of the night will be starting off Bio War with Rodrigo versus Bugrip in an Iron Man match. An hour long Iron Man match, I may add. But then not just that, we will also be having the first ever PXT Buckery match, pretty much uh, free for all inside a hell of a cell match. First man to get the pin gets to be no more contender for the PXC YouTube title. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Take care. Have a great night. I'm out. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed PXC. Hey, man, can I get a favor? Yeah, sure, I know.